The use of new age technologies like AI, automation and robotics is on the rise in the architecture and construction industry. But there is a problem. While the increasing use of intelligent machines is a revolutionary step in tech innovation, it also gives rise to a deeply set conundrum. What does this mean for the future of architects? Should we be scared? Are robots taking over the world? Is the future of architecture in the hands of machines? Not quite. In this video, we're going to take an honest look and get to the heart of the matter. Are architects going to be made redundant by AI? Or is AI in architecture a blessing in disguise? To understand, let's take a leap back in time. In 2011, a handful of architects and engineers from Google's highly secretive Google X laboratory embarked on an ambitious challenge. How could they help urban cities adjust to the fact that in less than 20 years, more than 6.5 billion people would be living in them? The project was taken on by Google's incubator project, Flux. But the problem was a daunting one. What solution could Flux possibly create to help cities deal with the challenges of overpopulation? And so, for the next few months, Flux decided to build a software that would make virtual collaboration easier and quicker through cloud storage. For instance, if Jane and Matthew were working on two separate files on Revit, they would be able to see the changes the other made immediately. This made collaboration, design and execution much more swift. But there was still a problem. Each architecture firm had its own way of doing things, and this was hard to work around. Established firms did not want to move from a certain way of doing things. After all, it had served them well all these years. People came to the founder, Jen Carlyle, on a daily basis and asked if their jobs were going to be automated soon. And Carlyle had no answer. She said in a 2015 interview, The big challenge is we're asking the architecture community to think about design a little bit differently. It's a little bit scary to people. Like, are you going to automate our job away? That's not what we're trying to do. It's true, computer-aided design. We want to give designers and architects superpowers. Most architects are convinced that AI and robots are going to take over their jobs. In fact, research conducted by the PwC network in 2019 declares that most construction jobs that require medium to low education are at high risk of getting automated by the mid-2030s. But does that mean mass unemployment? Well, it certainly doesn't mean that robots and computers are taking over the world. In fact, in the early 17th century, a computer referred to a person. With the advancement of technology, the occupation of human computers ceased to exist. The very first e-computers were trained and perfected over time by humans for assisting humans in their tasks. And I may be playing the devil's advocate here, but isn't AI similar? AI or artificial intelligence is the result of an ongoing effort to create machines that exhibit human-like intelligence. As a technology, it has already created an impact on the world and made its way into our everyday lives. Smartphones and motion sensors are an example of this. Let's see how this is being used in the world of architecture and construction. A very remarkable example of using AI to minimize labor-based tasks in architectural design is the space syntax software Depth Map X by the Bartlett at UCL. Depth Map X is an open access software that produces a map of spatial elements and connects them via relationship. For example, intervisibility, intersection, or adjacency, and then performs a graph analysis of the resulting network. Another very interesting development is the use of AI to expedite construction. Colorado-based startup Canvas built an AI-assisted robot that can finish drywalls. About the size of a laundry machine, this four-wheeled automaton uses LiDAR to see whatever room it's placed in. If you observe closely, technology is simply breaking down the tasks performed by humans. It is simplifying the particular tasks and also developing tools to perform them in place of humans. Another reason why robots will never take over architectural jobs is because architecture is a field that requires tremendous emotion and empathy. The greatest architects of the world came to be known because of how attuned their structures were to emotions and how user-centric their designs were. Today, major processes within architecture are actively employing AI and automation, such as building information modeling or BIM and computational design. 
The development of these technologies is not only providing smoother solutions for the AC industry, but also providing reskilling career opportunities and therefore creating new jobs. However, by far one of the greatest challenges to the development and spread of AI is the industry's resistance to it. But if you really piece together everything that we've talked about so far, you will realize that AI provides us new realms of learning and innovation. Think about it this way. Just because a washing machine is handling dirty laundry doesn't mean that there's no work left. It only means that there is now more time for you to focus on other tasks that may require your attention and intellect. In the same way, AI is a tool made for helping out the construction professionals to carry out repetitive tasks so that they can concentrate their creative energies into something more useful. We hope you found this video insightful. To learn more about what's trending in the AC industry, make sure you log on to oneis2x.com, follow our Instagram page and subscribe to our YouTube channel.